Hey guys, George Payne here today, and welcome back to another pod test. Happy Friday. I hope you guys are enjoying your Friday night. It's the weekend, ready to get that started, and I'm going to get it started right. And this is a Butch Tea. This is a homegrown pod. I just got this off the plant yesterday. I've been growing these out, the Butch Teas. There's over 100 pods on the plant. There were actually 100 pods on the plant, over 100 pods, but I picked about 40 to 50 yesterday. I sent 30 of them to Brad Bishop for his charity hot sauce run, and uh, I'm going to try this one right here. I've been really excited about trying a butch tea from this plant for quite a while. Pods have been on the plant for over a month, and they finally are ripened. So here we go. Let's cut this open, tell you how it smells, tastes, and give you the final verdict on the butch tea. I'm really excited about doing this review. I haven't reviewed a butch tea yet. I figured I'd wait for one of these and uh, ready to get started with it. I use, you know, I've, I use a good nutrient regimen. I've got some nice, healthy-looking pods. Very beautiful pod shape. This is a gorgeous color. It's got the classic scorpion shape, as you can see. And uh, let's cut it open and tell you how it smells, tastes, and give you the final verdict. So I hope everybody is enjoying their. Friday night. I'm about ready to get into this one. Wow, this is a very crunchy pod. It's very thick skin too, very thick walled. Wow. Was not expecting that. I gave a few of these to the guys at work today and uh, wrecked a few of them. They've been uh, watching reviews and they've been wanting to try some, so I bought them one of these. Wow, this one smells just is overwhelming. The smell is just overwhelming. I'm trying to get the proper light for you to try to show you the oil and the blade, but there it is right there. Look at all that oil. The Butch Tea is still the official Guinness Book of World Record holder. It has not been overthrown yet. And uh, there's some hot stuff out there, but uh, this has still got the record. I Like I said, I have will have plenty of seeds to share for this. My plant has so many pods on it so if you want some butch tea seeds um, give me a, about two weeks let me dry the seeds out and all from some of the pods that I harvested and uh, I'll be happy to send you some seeds to them look at that that's scary look at all that oil right there that placenta packed full very freaky scary pod show you this side right here that lots of oil there and lots of placenta this is a packed full chili right here this is a uh, very scary very freaky lots of placenta lots of oil just a freaky pod gonna scrape some of the seeds from this one so like I said I'm gonna start giving some seeds away from these I've got plenty of them to de -seed, but might as well get some seeds from this one this is a beautiful pod shape and it's just just really nice nice chili so take some seeds from it because I'm definitely growing the butch tea out again next year and what better way than to use some of the seeds from pods you grew so, grab a few more not gonna grab all of them like I said I got plenty of these and uh, Brad Bishop your package will be there tomorrow, so look, be on the look for that. Uh, estimated delivery date was tomorrow, so check that out. And, uh, should be a box of chilies on your in your mailbox or on your porch tomorrow. So there we go. I'm gonna send a few fresh pods out to a few people to review. I'll try this. There we go. That's enough seeds there. Pull the stem. Try not to get all this oil on my hand because I'm trying not to burn tonight. I touched my eye last night. I did a pod test last night and a sauce review, and I touched my eye. And I thought I'd wash my hands with Dawn dish degreasing dish soap, and uh, no, that didn't help. It it burnt for a good 15, 20 minutes last night. My eye was on fire. So here we go. Without further ado. Let me smell this real quick, see what it smells like. Wow, smells very floral. 
getting a little bit of that annual smell to it, which it's not an annual. This is a Chinancy, which that's kind of crazy. Just getting some sweetness there. A little bit of a fruity note there. So let's go ahead and try it. I don't know if the... I used a nutrient called Sweet Roll. It's a carbohydrate and a, a natural sweetener. It's supposed to bring out the natural flavors of vegetables, fruits, you know, peppers, of course. So it's supposed to, it doesn't enhance the flavor in any means, but it's supposed to actually bring out those natural flavors of the chili. So let's see if it worked. This would be a good test for it, too, as well. Mm. Oh, whoa. Wow. Very full. Very hot. Ooh. It's a hot one, boy. There's no doubt. It's already it's cranking up too. It's not even. Oh, whew. lots of oil. Feel the oil slide down to my throat. My tongue's on fire. Tongue is extremely on fire right now. So is the roof of my mouth. The flavor of this? No, I, I see why no one likes the flavor. I mean, or. You know, a few, very few people like the flavor. I really don't care for this. I'm sure it would go great in a hot sauce, but it is an extremely potent, floral, pungent flavor, and it's got some bitterness to it. I got a little hint of sweetness. It's a very tad bit at the beginning, and that has faded. Um, flavor this is not all up to par. It, it's not that wonderful. It's an extremely potent, extremely pungent, hot punch to the face. Um, definitely worth growing, though. I'm going to make powder out of them. Some of them, I'm going to smoke some of them on the smoker with either hickory or, or cherry or something like that. I actually thought about going and getting the uh, Jack Daniels barrel smoking chips and smoking some chilies and making a powder with that and sending it out to people but uh flavor of this not to be desired um i give the heat of this uh, a 10 it's extremely hot extremely potent the, the burn is just extremely deep and an extremely hot burn it's very penetrating and my tongue is finally going numb my gums, it, it is just doing a number on my gums. Um, very interesting burn. I haven't had something that, to attack the gums as much as this is. The, the gums are the main vocal point of this burn. Um, the bottom of the tongue, I'm getting some, but for the most part, my tongue is numb. The top of my mouth is numb, but my gums feel like they're just being ironed off. They feel blistery. They feel just extremely burned. Um, the chili hot. Don't get me wrong. 10 on the heat scale. Flavor, I give the flavor a 3. Um, some people might like this. I don't like the pungent floral flower flavor. I'm not a big fan of that. That's why I don't like boots. And uh, yeah, this was a heck of a homegrown chili. Uh, it, it's extremely hot. And uh I'll send some out. If you want to try some, let me know. I'll get some out to you. You can let me know what you think. But I, I'm, I'm impressed. I, this is really cool, you know. I didn't grow the butch tea last year, and this is the first year, and I'm impressed with this chili. Not flavor-wise, but just how hot it is in the burn. The burn is very impressive on this. But I'll see you guys for the next review. Like I said, I'll be giving seeds away from these just let me know send me a private message check me out on facebook just send me a, a little message and i'll get some butch tea seeds out to you i'm giving it doing a seed giveaway um 
probably Saturday, tomorrow. I've got some seeds I want to give away. So check that out. Like I said, I got I got into this stuff to give things to people and try to raise some money for MS and cancer research through my outreach program. So just hit me up and I'll hook you up. I'll see you later. Thanks. Bye.